All right, I just got done unbolting the exhaust from the bottom. Now we're gonna move on to the engine. So I'm gonna start removing the headers, radiator, lines, hoses, and wiring. So I'll get back to you guys uh, once I finish that. All right, probably an hour later already and I pretty much removed everything. Uh, so I don't know if I'm gonna remove the transmission or keep the transmission on the engine and just remove it like the, with the engine hoist. Uh, I'll see what's up right now. This is my 6.0 LS. That's when I'm going to the fiber. Pretty much almost ready to go in. I'm going to drop it in so I can start test fitting stuff, making fuel lines. I wanted to fix the rack joint before I threw it in, but I had to still have to order that part and wait for it to arrive. So I might as well start get started on other stuff. Nothing special, just the uh, build bottom end, force pistons, force rods, turbo headers, 1000 cc injectors. The Holly 302-3 oil pan. So for that, the bungs are ready for the oil drain. The Holly stock mount location ad adapter. And just uh, the sh short and wide engine mounts. So we'll see how it goes. I haven't really seen anybody on YouTube doing do this engine mount. so. That's why I decided to record. Well, let's start getting it ready to drop in. All right, not too long ago, I already dropped the TH400. Kind of pain in the ass. So to make it easier for myself, I'm gonna go buy a, a uh, transmission jack from Harbor Freight. Cause I was not gonna drop it by myself with uh, just a regular jack. That's uh, just too sketchy. So it's over here, already taken out. The four L lady that I might use, but for now, I'm just gonna test, my, test fit the engine. So let's get to it. All right, you guys, the LS is in. I did have some issues with the stock mount location, holly mounts. When I put those on, uh, the engine was sitting too back and uh, the alternator was uh, hitting the subframe and I, I had issues with the clearance over in the firewall. So what I did was I took off the stuck mount locations and I drilled them out an inch more forward. And with that inch, it helped me clear the alternator from the stove frame. You can't really tell through here, but I do have clearance now and it's way better than before. So if you guys are doing a swap on an F body, I suggest uh, the ICT billet uh, or the LSX Innovations uh, adjustable slider mounts. Yeah, or the Holly one and a quarter inch forward mounts. I moved mine an inch, but as you can see in the video right here, you still have more clearance to go forward. But other than that, I'm ready to start my fuel lines. So that's next, and then I'm gonna start with the intercooler. 
radiator and all the, all the other stuff and then uh i'll put the transmission and the torque converter is on its way so gotta test that out first but other than that i'm really happy how it's looking in here oh if you guys are gonna turbo your car you might want to use the holly top kit because i don't know how other headers fit in here but i have no issues with the turbo headers because i'm going turbo and i don't gotta clear the steering rack But yeah, other than that, I'm really happy how this car's gonna turn out. I'm loving how the engine looks in the Firebird.